Want to look great in your Instagram reels? Then keep watching, because in this video, I'm going to show you an easy Instagram reels video setup that'll honestly make you look better in your reels than in real life. Hey there, I am Patricia Calacani, an Emmy Award winner showing you how to make amazing videos so your business makes more money. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I have a new video. Alrighty, let's dive in to this easy Instagram Reels video setup that'll make you look better on video than in real life. And it's all natural. Like, I'm not talking about filters, anything like that. Here we go. Step one is to have a nice background. And just for the record, I do not have an Instagrammable house. No, I have two young kids. How can anyone with two young kids have an Instagrammable, perfect looking house? I don't know. If you're with me, comment below and raise your hand or be like, yes, I'm with you. And if you do have an Instagrammable house, give me some tips. How do you do it? Okay, so back to the background. All you need, even if you have a messy house, you just need one corner or one space behind you, like a wall, part of a wall, that's gonna be in the video. Declutter it, make it look nice and clean, and you're good to go. So I film most of my videos in my home office, and I pretty much have two spaces. I have this corner behind me, and then I have the wall over here that I'll also film my reels. So when you have like a dedicated space, it just makes it easier. You can easily push that record button. You can batch record, meaning you can film multiple reels at once and it just makes life easier. Step two, you wanna make sure and stabilize your phone. Mount your phone on a tripod and make sure that tripod has a phone adapter for your phone. So I love the Amazon Basics tripod. It's super budget friendly, but it also gets super tall. So you can stand, I'm like almost 5'8", and it's tall enough to even get above my head if I wanted it to. So if you're like six foot tall, it probably will work for you too. But anyways, I love the tripod and this phone adapter is great too. It's easy to fit your phone in, you can rotate it easily, all of that great stuff. And here's a little tip, it's actually more flattering if you have your camera slightly above you and angled down. As always, links to all of the gear that I mentioned in this video are in the description below. Step three is lighting. And this right here is the key to looking better in your reels than in real life. It's actually super simple to do. And the bigger the light, the better you look. I personally prefer a softbox over a ring light. And I'm gonna show you right now how I place my light. So the best place to put your softbox light is right next to your phone, which is the camera. And so basically if your camera or phone is 12 o'clock, so right in front of you, then you want your softbox at either 11 o'clock or in this case, one o'clock. Now, if you do wear glasses, make sure and watch my video, how to avoid glare on glasses in video. I give you some awesome tips in there. But basically, when you have your softbox angled at this position, it just looks so flattering on your face and lights you really well. And as you can see, this is a bigger light. It's 24 inches by 24 inches. And so again, the bigger the light, the better you look. Okay, so if you don't have a light or if you just want to simplify things, then my favorite little hot tip here is to simply stand in front of a window. And the same rule applies. The bigger the light, the better you look. Well, the bigger the window, the better you look. So right now, as you can see, I just have the, the window light shining on me. And these are two big windows. And so it's super soft. It's super flattering on my face. And it just works so well. This is my go-to spot for reels right now because all I have to do is simply put my phone on the tripod 
and I'm good to go. Yes, I love this simple little tip. Simply stand in front of a big window, but make sure that you're in indirect sunlight. So don't have the actual sun rays shining on you. That's not flattering. Make sure you're in indirect sunlight and yes, it looks so good. As a side note, in my online course called The Map to Lucrative Videos, I walk you through all of these steps in so much more detail, but hopefully this is enough to get you started. And step four is use a microphone. Of course, you only need to use a microphone if you're gonna be talking in your reels, but this way your, your voice will sound nice and full rather than that hollow echoey sound without a microphone. So if your phone is more than an arm's length away from you, so more than a couple feet from you, I definitely recommend using a microphone. My go-to budget-friendly microphone is the Boya BYM1. You can find it on Amazon, the link is below. I absolutely love this microphone. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me talk about it before. And here's a little secret on where I hide the lavalier microphone. Rather than pinning it like on my top, I make it so you can't see it. Here is one of my Instagram reels. I'll share the secret. Okay, do you wanna know a secret? I hide my lavalier microphone under my shirt by pinning it to my bra. And because I'm not a Victoria's Secret model, I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you. You can figure it out. And make sure and follow me on Instagram. I have so many more video tips and lots of reels and all that great stuff to help you grow your business. And step number five is the last step. It is to push that red button, push record. And don't forget to push record. Yesterday I did. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun, especially if it's a long video like it was yesterday. So push record and make sure and look at the lens. I know on phones, the lens is like super tiny. In fact, when you're in selfie mode, you can't even see the lens. So just look in that general area because remember the lens is like your viewer's eyes. You wanna talk to them and look at them in the eyes, right? And also too, when I film my reels, I film in selfie mode because I wanna see exactly what it looks like. Then as I'm talking or as I'm doing my thing, and I after I push record, I make sure and look at that lens. There you go, an easy Instagram Reels video setup so you look better on Reels than in real life. No joke, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so here's the thing, you know that video is a game changer in your business, but the most common question I get is what video should I make for my business? What, what's the first one I should make? Well, you're in luck. I created a quiz. It's a personalized quiz that will tell you what video you should make next in your business to get immediate results. It's gonna move the needle forward in your business and it's all personalized based on the answers you give in the quiz. So make sure and click the link in the description to take that quiz and find out. And don't forget, if you wanna level up your business with video, you need to get my online course called The Map to Lucrative Videos. And let me just be like straight here. It isn't just any old regular online course. This includes group coaching, it includes so much more templates, Mad Lib style scripts where you fill in the blanks, and it's all strategic content so that you grow your business with video. In fact, so many of my students have created their first online courses because of this course, the Match Lucrative Videos. They've been on the national news, they've tripled their customers, they've made thousands of dollars more in the first month after just adding one or two videos to their websites. It's amazing and you really should get it. So the link to that is also in the description below. I cannot wait to see you there. Alrighty, if you liked this video, I would love it if you clicked that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And comment below, do you have an Instagrammable house? If you do, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right, have a good week, guys.